What's up guys? I've got my socks and sandals on. Time to go work on the motorcycle. Let's talk a little bit about fuel injectors today. Fuel injectors are one of the first things you're going to want to change. If you're going to modify that engine, go to a big bore kit or otherwise increase the amount of airflow through your engine. The stock fuel injector is perfect for 125 cc with the stock configuration. Moving up, you're going to need a bigger fuel injector. A couple of options that are out there on the market, a PCX150 fuel injector, a Takagawa G1 fuel injector, and a number of other Honda type fuel injectors that are out on the market. These can provide the correct fueling depending on what type of configuration your motorcycle is in when you get done modifying it. Let's get working. First remove the spark plug wire. Move that out of the way. Then we're going to go ahead and pull this plastic cover off. Once that's out of the way, you're going to go ahead and remove these two screws right here with a 10 millimeter wrench. Disconnect this power couple by pushing in on this lever here and pulling straight up. Next, go ahead and just pull it straight out. There's your fuel injector there and you just pull straight down and that fuel injector should come right out. Just like that. The fuel doesn't sit there and drip, just a little bit comes out and then it shuts off. Be super careful with these to make sure you don't get them dirty. So put them in a nice sandwich bag or something like that for storage later. Try to shake out all the fuel that's in there so nothing gets clogged. Here's the new fuel injector I'll be putting in. This happens to be a Keenan 10 hole. This is replacing a Takagawa G1. You put this in just like the old one came out. Make sure when you put this in that you've got these little tabs aligned. Once seated in the hole, go ahead and replace your screws. Snug these up, be careful not to strip the screws. Reconnect the electrical connector. And replace your rubber cover. Reconnect the spark plug wire. We're gonna go ahead and start up the bike and just make sure that we watch for any leaks around the base of the fuel injector. So it definitely smells rich. Took a little bit to start it. So if we can back off the throttle here without it dying. Ooh, it smells rich. When you change the fuel injector, you'll likely have to change the idle stop, which is right under here. Hope you can see that. Zoom in on it a little bit here. It's right there on the back of the throttle. And you loosen it with an eight millimeter wrench and then you'll turn this center screw to adjust. If you don't have a helper, you can pull the throttle back and put a glove in between and then you can hold the throttle wherever you need it to be just so that you have enough room to go ahead and adjust it. Then make sure you put the throttle all the way back to the stop to test. You can see how fast and easy it is to change out a fuel injector on this motorcycle and also adjust the idle setting. Thanks for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed this content. If so, please subscribe and like and hit the notification bell. It's been a pleasure. See you next time. I'll record you. You'll be on my YouTube video.